Omco was founded in 1955. Uh, again, our headquarters are in Wycliffe, Ohio. We're a diversified manufacturer, heavily focused on roll forming uh, in our manufacturing processes. And, and again, we got roll form operations throughout the United States, coast to coast. We have the ability to uh, reach our markets very cost effectively because of our footprint across the United States. And uh, historically, uh, we have been heavy in our transportation markets, which we are still today. And uh, in recent years, about 2009 or so, we expanded very heavily into the solar markets. And uh, we're now producing uh, for the various solar markets uh, throughout the United States, West Coast, Southeast, and the East Coast out of our facilities. And um, we're have had significant growth in those markets. Our company has grown almost tenfold in the last 10 years or so. And uh, so today uh, we have a very substantial footprint and we're moving about 100 million, 120 million pounds of steel per year. Here at Omco, we have a lot of equipment. You know, we have about 50 lines that we're running. We have made a lot of our own equipment as far as our roll formers. We rebuild our own stuff in-house and you know we've had a good run of it. We design our own tooling, we design our own equipment and uh, manufacture a good deal of it ourselves uh, mainly because of the time it saves us. We're not waiting on others, we can kind of control our own destiny to a large extent and, uh, and we feel that we can handle our quality a lot better by doing a lot of our own stuff. Co has helped us meet our needs by uh, providing additional features on the equipment as we discovered that we needed them. They have sat down with us, analyzed what it is we were trying to achieve, and they have went and done the homework to make it happen. You know, a typical roll forming line for us would include, you know, an uncoiler, gives you a source of material for the flattener. The flattener processes the steel, gets the set out of it from being stored in a coiled form. You have a loop space for the feeder supply. The servo feeder supplies material to the press in the appropriate increment. The press puts the features into the material. Material then goes into another loop. From that loop supplies material to the roll forming mill where the material is formed to its final profile. And then it's cut to length at the exit end of the mill. Typical materials for us run between, you know, in the neighborhood of 60 thousandths up to a quarter inch. And we keep running into higher and higher KSI steel. You know, that seems to be the direction that things are headed is to higher strength steels, which includes its own challenges. It's harder to form, it takes more work to form it. There's more things that can happen in the forming of it. Any set that's in it, it takes more work to get any set out of it. Uh, it takes more work to form it once you get it in the mill, and it can be more prone to issues with cracking and you know, things of that nature due to the higher alloying. But we've been able to meet those challenges, and the tolerances for everything that we do continue to get tighter and tighter. And you know, that's just the direction the market's headed. Everything around us is requiring higher and higher levels of precision, and the technology of the day is providing those, the capability to get to those tolerances. You know, our dealings with Co have always been good. You know, they're very dependable. If they tell you you're going to have your equipment by a certain date, you can count on that, that it's going to be here on time and that's going to be ready to go. Uh, they've always been very supportive of their equipment. Anything that has come up as far as additional things that we needed, they've always responded quickly and readily to give us what we need when we need it. And, uh, you know, and they've supplied us with good, robust equipment that's ready to go. As long as we do our part to make sure that we keep it properly maintained, it performs and has done so for years.